Hello comrades, there's a lot of updates in the recent day, so let's begin. First of all, in the Kherson counter offensive, the Ukrainians managed to push back the Russian attack on Losove and managed to counterattack attack towards Bilohirka. However, they were stabbed at the village and were unable to take over Bilohirka. That's it for the Kherson update. As for the Isium update, the Isium counterattack, the Ukrainians managed to take over Volokhov Yar, or at least take over the crossroad, and further data is not available at the time, and this was confirmed with video evidence. Uh, fighting is still ongoing at Yakun, Yakovenkov, as well as Ver uh, they have taken Verbivka and are fighting at the outskirts of Beleklia, where they are fighting next to the bridge which is not destroyed, uh, still operational. So the fighting is ongoing right here, and this area is not passable as the bridge has been destroyed. Further south, the Ukrainians are attempting a river crossing and are still fighting at Bayrak to no success so far. The, situ the situation around Belaklia right now is that there is an operational encirclement. As the Ukrainians have managed to take control of all roads in and out of Belaklia by taking control of the areas, as we can see here. They have taken control of Yolochivyar. They have this road within their range, allowing them to attack from Saiman. And this road here is also within artillery range of the front line, meaning that generally, as we can see, wait, six kilometers, they have much range for this. So they are, they have full a range of their artillery as well as the shape of the uh, salient being a cauldron for the Russians, meaning that the Ukrainians will be able to cut them off if they manage to run down this highway and take uh, Vishneva and uh, Vesele by taking these two areas, allowing them to completely encircle uh, the city of Baleklia. So this is what they're aiming to do. The forces involved in this offensive is a newly formed 10th tank battalion, uh, which is completely consists of completely of a Ukrainians who have been trained by the UK army, as well as foreign fighters from the West, meaning that generally they are all NATO capable soldiers as well as Polish T-72 tanks, which are the T-72 tanks they uh, inherited from the Soviet Union and has been modified to be, it's basically essentially be modernized. So these are their best troops, even better than the ones at Kherson, uh, but similar quality, meaning that generally whoever wins the battle in Kherson determines the, fight, the war in the south, and whoever wins the battle of Izium wins the war in the east. Finally, a short update around Liman. The Ukrainians have managed to succeed in a river crossing and take Brusivka as well as Sarih Karavan. However, this is not that significant as this area is heavily forested, meaning that generally the Russians have a lot of guerrilla fighters who are able to ambush and cut the Ukrainian supply lines if the Ukrainians decide to attack towards Liman. However, Liman is definitely a major target for the Ukrainians as this city is essentially the hub for Russian activity in the area. So generally speaking, the Ukrainians are aiming for two things right now. They are not aiming for Izium, they are aiming for Valeklia and Liman. The, f the power and number of the forces around Liman is not known to this point, meaning that generally this could just be a distraction and the main force here in Balaklia, but we are yet to know. Thanks for watching and have a great day.